Hey guys, how's it going? Um, today is, what is today? As you know, I record all these on the same day, so I have to remember. Today is Thursday. Um, there will be a little video of my face right here, this video that you're watching on the screen, but um, I'm making it, so I can't put it on the screen until then, you know? Um, also, I haven't really talked about this page in any of my other videos. I haven't at all, actually, so I just wanted to show you in case you missed it. On Tuesday, it said click here and it pointed to the books. Um, I have all of these linked. So right here, oh no, I did not mean to click on that. But this is a movie trailer for the Peanut Butter Falcon because it was made into a movie. Some of these, I believe I Am Malala has a review, like a book review where you can go and read about it and see why other people liked it. Um, she's telling you about these six books. They're all popular. Um, I have read... These two, I started Perks of, Wall, of Being a Wallflower, um, and I've actually never seen the movie, but I hear it's amazing. The Peanut Butter Falcon, I saw the movie. It's so good. Um, After the Shot Drops and Children of Blood and Bone are also supposed to be really good. Um, Right here, I just have linked to our Robinson webpage, so if you ever want to know what's going on or updates, I know that... Um, I think we're all kind of getting updates left and right during these times. So that's nice to have right there. Um, we have a link to the local news just in case you want to stay informed. That's something that I would want you to know how to access if you were in my class in person. And um, I want you to just be educated with the world. So sometimes that just starts with not knowing where to go. So there's that. And then also link to volunteer to places in Waco if you ever want to volunteer somewhere. Um, I push for that here. I talk about it a lot more in person, kind of the things I I would love for you to do, like go out and be a part of the community and things outside of the classroom because it doesn't stop in the classroom. Um, and English is important for pretty much those aspects of all aspects of life. Um, but there's more to it than that. And, and I just hope that you're being good people and have access to things that can make you successful, like the news and places to volunteer and job openings around you. So if you ever need help with anything like that, please feel free to come to me. Um, our little calendar over here has a smiley face on whatever day we are on. Um, I may ultimately link this to the Schoology calendar, but you can access the Schoology calendar easily. I don't know how I feel about going on Schoology, getting on this, and then going back to access Schoology. It seems a little contradicting. Um, too many links. So anyway, this just shows what day we're on. Um, but if I ever make a Google Class calendar or anything like that, I'll definitely link it here. This is just my little Bitmoji, drinking coffee and reading, which are my two favorite things. Um, so it's pretty accurate. Um, her hair is a little less frizzy than mine, though. I'm kind of jealous, so that's okay. Um, down here, the instruction box, the most important time, I mean part. If you see that it's the exact same instructions that I have on the Schoology page every day, I just really like this better. I made it a long time ago, actually. I made it over the summer, and then um, everything has just kind of been like bam, 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 and I just have not had time um, or the know-how to insert it. Also, you'll see that on the original one, you have to click to which day you're going to. So I'm going to do these a week at a time because I don't just want to have a hundred different Google slides and save them all one day at a time. Um, so I'm going to do a week at a time and um, then you just have to click one through five. Um, so down here, you'll have your objective like you always do. That's just our daily goal. The school wants to know, um, and they want you to know the whole point of what you're doing. What educationally, um, based on the things I have to teach you, which box is that fulfilling? So today you're creating a presentation about your career. Both of those are different things that I have to teach you about. But I'm truly curious, um, a presentation to make it more fun. You're going to start with SSR. I've had several of you ask me lately what that is. Um, if you don't know, we've you're supposed to have been doing it since the first or second week of school. Um, it's 10 minutes of reading. You can look up an online PDF. You can come by the book, the school and get a book. Um, 
I will buy you a book. If you need me to buy you a book, you can use a book you have from home, but you're just reading for 10 minutes a day. That's very important. Um, and we're going to start doing a journal write every single day after we read. Also something I normally do, but um, we just had so much to do. I know you do it a lot. Hopefully you know how to get to your Google your digital composition by now um, and know what that is without me having to re-explain. But um, the, those are the two things we're going to start doing. We're going to read for 10 minutes and then we're going to write some. Unless we have a test like we did earlier in the week, then I just won't put it. If I don't put it, just skip it. Okay, but please um, make sure that you're doing that if it's on there. Um, and then this, you're just going to show me in a Google Slides presentation. So like what I'm in right now, um, what your dream job is, how much you'll make, so just look up annual salary or um, maybe it's an hourly job, um, of how much you'll make and whether or not you'll have to take on another job. Um, this was something I didn't really give a whole lot of consideration to. I knew teachers didn't make much, but I never really knew what that meant until I made it. Um, it's it's hard to really judge how much money, a lot of money, it just, if you're getting paid a salary, it sounds like a lot. No matter who you are, no matter what job you get, you're like, wow, that sounds like a lot of money. And it is because you go from being a high school kid with barely any money. If you're like me, I just had a seven twenty five an hour job um, and I worked every day after school. So like if I got a $220 check, I was just banking for that week. That means I pulled doubles all weekend and probably had to stay late. And um, and then you get to college and you're even more broke than high school somehow because you don't really have time to work because you have so much homework. Then you have to work and then you're paying for an apartment on your own. And um, and then you're also in massive amounts of debt from college and you're just as broke as a joke. And then you get to the real world and you're like, oh, my gosh, nobody is paying me actual money. I can afford to eat out at more than just Taco Bell once every six months. Um I used to get my nails done, you know, and then I um, I live in a house now, and so now I can't afford to get my nails done again, and we're just back where we started. But um, it always seems like a lot of money, but you really need to look at and think about the things that you want. So if your goal is to get yourself a car, like a good, reliable, newer car, when you get out of high school, some of you may want a Lamborghini, right? So you may have this dream job that can afford you a Lamborghini and literally nothing else because it's a Lamborghini. Um, so if that's what you want, that's good. But I want to know if your job can cover basically your standard of living. So again, like with where I am in life, I have this job, but I also have jobs that I work on the side because I had to get a new car because mine broke down. Um, and now I have a mortgage to pay. And in order to pay both of those by myself, I have a dog and he eats a lot. I also eat a lot, but not as much as my dog does. And um, so in order to buy food for both of us and afford all these things, I have to have multiple jobs. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. I just want to know, I want you to consider whether or not that's something you'll have to do for the standard of life that you want. Um, I want to know where the job is. Are you going to have to move? Or are you going to stay local? Is that important to you? Maybe you're moving um, to that place for somebody else. So your dream job is there, but just um, in a different location. Or maybe your dream job is here because you want to be here. You want to be close to your family. You want to be close to your friends. Um, so tell me where the job is. Um, also, how much you make, your salary. So if you're getting a job in California, your salary is automatically going to be ten to $20,000 more. It evens out and what you end up paying for housing and everything else that is insanely expensive. Um, but make sure you're looking that up as well because the cost of living is much, much higher in most places. Texas is the 19th cheapest state to live in in the United States, um, which is pretty impressive for its size. Um, and lastly, I want to know, perhaps the most important question is why that job? What about that job makes you want it? Is it the money? Is it the work environment? Some buildings look really, really cool. I watched The Intern. I don't know if you've seen it. Vince Vaughn and Owen Wilson came out a while back. I wanted to work at Google, as many of you have seen with my technology issues. I could not work at Google. I'm very, very bad at my little Google Slides, and that's as good as it gets for me. Um, 
but I wanted to work at Google because the building looks really, really fancy. And I saw it in a movie and I really wanted to do that for a while, but I was realistic in the end. But maybe it's maybe it's the facilities, you know, maybe it has nice benefits or maybe it's what it does to the world. I like to help people. I've always liked to help people. I'll always be in some sort of customer care service industry, something um, more than likely. If, if I didn't go into teaching, I wanted to go into social work or business, but I would stay on the end where I got to deal with people, where I got to deal with the customers because I really, um, I just really like helping other people in any way that I can. And then I ended up being a teacher, which now I have more people um, than I could ever ask for to help. I have a lot of you to help all the time. So you keep me right in line with what I wanted to do. But um, I want you to know, I want to know what your why is. And I want, more importantly, you to know what your why is. Okay, put pictures on there, guys. It's so boring when you don't. Everybody hates seeing a blank slide with just words. That's why I went and added this for you on Schoology. And I know those are written instructions, so it's different. But I... Do not like presentations without pictures. Give me something to look at while I'm reading all your words, okay? Especially since you can't be here to present, and I'm not going to make you go through Wii video again to try to do it. Um, I heard from one of you that you spent like six hours on it, and I'm so, so sorry. I use Wii video. It looks very different for me. I love it. That's what I'm using to make this video. I realize that it's not the same for you, and... Um, it just seems to always have issues when I'm not there and able to fix them right in front of you. So you're just going to submit the slides. Okay. Shouldn't take you too long. Should be easy. Just a little bit of Googling. Um, and that's all for today. I will see you tomorrow.